I think the interesting thing for us on the ice, and I mean, you can watch tape as much as you want, but you never really get to truly know what you look like. Um, so to compare us four years ago, um, we can compare our feeling, we can compare um, our experience in the sport, and I think it's a big reason why we came back. We wanted to do things just a little bit differently. We wanted to, um, I mean, our comeback started with Mary France and Patrice. We wanted to collaborate with them. We wanted to be in the school that had so much um, love and uh, yeah, creative vision. Was that dramatic enough of a pause? <laughs> I'm playing with this, but Tessa knows that it's not a dramatic pause. I just can't think of the word that I'm trying to. But creative vision, exactly. That was kind of a little bit closer to our hearts than than what we left with. So I think what's different for us is that we have found the. Uh, the love again for figure skating. And that's nothing against our past team because they brought it out in us in the first place, but we needed a different path and to connect. And we love going into the rink every day and we found that again and that feels so great for us. Um, so hopefully you see that difference uh, out there on the ice and the competitive ice, there's a lot of pressure. So uh, that might not show through as clear in this atmosphere, but we feel it in our souls. And, and for us, when we leave the sport, I mean, it's those memories that we're gonna take with us. So I'd say that Pretty fortunate to have three runs at it. Um, this one just feels a bit more personal. Uh, Kaylin and I are very happy with uh, the way the program went uh, this afternoon, I guess. Um, we, we worked very hard the past two weeks to try to revamp and uh, bring back this program. And it's been uh, a fun journey, but it's been a hard one. And so it, uh, it felt really good to go out there and perform and uh, really uh, get back into that moment uh, in the competition and uh, we feel like it's a, a good starting place and um, hoping to progress a lot over the next couple of weeks before uh, France. Zach and I are filled with gratitude now. Um, we're feeling very happy. Um, gratitude for each other and for our team for training us so well. Um, we're really proud of our skate today and uh, Almost got teary on the podium, but I didn't want it to look bad. So, <laughs> but um, it was a really great day for us, and looking forward to going back home and training more. Well, that's good. We wanted to go with the risky theme this year. <laughs> um, if not now, when for us to do that? Um, yeah, we don't have much time left. <laughs> <laughs> when we sort of—I mentioned this in the mix on, so I'm sorry for repeating myself. But when we talked about what kind of emotions and feelings we wanted to portray in an Olympic free dance. And things that came to mind were passion and drama and true dance and romance, but not in the typical Tess and Scott lyrical fashion. And putting all of that on the table and, and listening to different pieces of music, um, finding something that connected with a storyline and, and a thread that sort of was woven through. Moulin Rouge really ticked all the boxes, and more than that, when we put on the music, we just felt something. I mean, the way we connect to it and how it resonates with us personally is unlike any other program we've skated, and, and that's fun to explore, and in a way, we sort of tried to reframe the fact that it is a little more typical in the skating world, and it has been used, and, and take that as a challenge. We want to put our own spin on it and, and hopefully portray it in a bit of a different way.